So this is 35. All right. Yep, I had my birthday last week. Um, it wasn't bad, honestly. Uh, my mom did the best she could with what she what she with what she could uh, as far as my diet and everything goes. Um, baked chicken wings, uh, baked French fries, just delicious. Uh, we found a kind of cake I could eat. Uh, angel food cake. Just flour, sugar, and egg whites. So one bad uh we did that day the day before uh with some family and then the night of my actual birthday it was just me and mom uh so she made me some uh like legit homemade like like shrimp ramen uh it was really good um god i miss garlic though <laughs> did my first show of 2024 last night wasn't planning on it um I was just going to go watch the show at Wiley's, and uh, Mike Wells was like, uh, well, do you want to go up? I was like, yeah, I think I do. Um, I, it was more of like, I felt like I just needed to. I, I, I was like, I needed to just rip the band-aid off and just go for it. Um, so he squeezed me in, which was cool. and. Uh, it did not go well. Uh, it was a bad show. It, not, it wasn't, it was like, I was doing all new stuff, but I mean, the, the, it, it was a packed room, like 50 people. Just nobody was into anything anyone had to say. Um, what a show to come back to. I, I was going to go watch uh, the show at Bricky's on Friday, day after my birthday, but I wasn't feeling great that day. Uh, I was bummed out because my buddy Vander was headlining. But, uh, yeah, so I, I guess I'm back, more or less. I'm not, uh, I'm not committing to a whole lot. Uh, I'm not trying to book a lot of stuff right now just because um, I don't know how I'm going to feel one day to the next. And, uh, you know, I, I can't drink. Uh, I, I can't really, uh, you know, eat out or anything like that. So... And I'm going back to work at the office this week. So, um, it's just kind of playing it by ear, uh, which I hate because I had a lot of momentum going into this year, which, uh, all came to a screeching halt because of things. Uh, you guys can hear the cats in the background. It's just, it is what it is. Um, but just doing the best I can. Uh, I tried a bunch of new stuff tonight. I'm recording this Sunday night. Uh, uh, that I hadn't really tried before, you know, I don't usually do that, especially like an entire five minutes of new shit, but, uh, you know, I didn't want to come back from being gone for two months doing the exact same set that I'd been doing before I went away. Um, so it was good to just try new stuff, but yeah, I'm not committing to a whole lot because I just, I don't know, I don't want to be out all the time right now because um, I'm just worried that the the temptation to you know eat or drink something I'm not supposed to is going to get too strong uh, or that I'm going to be at a show and um, need to be in the bathroom as quickly as possible so uh, I, I like to I, I, I like to use the bathroom in the comfort of my own home I like use I like I like having a, 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 a familiar toilet, uh, very much like uh, Peter Griffin in that way. I can't poop in strange, strange places. places. I can only poop in my home. I also did my first uh, my first video back with Off the Wall, uh, talking about Marvel What If season two, and you know doing what it doing stuff for Off the Wall, you know a channel that I help to start uh is is it's fun um it, it's it's tough to be back for that though too just because it's um you know i'm not going out and seeing stuff uh it's kind of just limited to what i can watch at home um there's not a lot right now <laughs> um but it's cool being back doing that uh matt and i are going to start recording new stuff for we are the batman soon and as soon as I get my desk moved over, we're going to start doing three mics podcast again. So slowly starting to get back into some semblance of normal while I try to get the house sold. Uh, to 
debating putting it up for rent uh, to help, but I feel like it's a whole other can of legal worms I don't want to get into right now. So, yeah, this is my life at 35. Is just still figuring things out. A lot of the same fear and and stuff that I talked about last time is still very much there. Just just doing the best I can. It's a weird world to be in right now. It's just yeah, I, you know, you would think that after 18 years of doing comedy, um, just taking a couple of months off, mostly for health reasons. Uh, you know, you think you'd pick it up a little bit easier, but man, was I, like, I was doing all new shit, but I was also just rusty as hell. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely had some cobwebs from those couple of months, and I think, I think most of it was, was just in, in my own head. Um, but I'm kind of having some of those, like, new guy jitters of, like, ah, where do I start? Like, like, how do I get back into this again? How do I do this? Remind me again what I gotta do. Like, remind me what my set is. Like, I've been going over my notes a lot more and going through my notebook, and you know, I keep looking at. I had, I had put together what I thought was a pretty solid, like, like, like thirty-minute headliner set uh, that I'm dying to try out this year because uh, my my I, I wrote down. Uh, goals for this year for myself and for the three mics and one of the ones I had for myself was to do 45 minutes on stage I've never done that long before I think the most I've ever done is 30 at most and I think I had to stretch to get that far so um, so I really want to do a lot of writing this year and and get some new stuff going because I really want to do that I, the other, well, other goals I had for this year. Let me get my goals out. Uh, I also want to, I want to close. I, I've, I've closed out uh, the mic at Wiley's twice and Bricky's once. Um, I'd really like to do a closing set at a mic out of town at like the Caravan down in Louisville. Um, or anywhere else. I just I would love to close out and do like a 20 minute uh, open mic closer set at a club out of town. Maybe Planet of the Tapes, um, Commonwealth Sanctuary, uh, just something you know, uh, something out of town. I want to you know I keep saying every year I'm going to do more club stuff out of town, and I just it's so hard to make happen. Hopefully this year once things balance out, I can try it again. I also want to perform in Chicago this year. I love Chicago. Chicago is one of my favorite cities in, in that I've ever been to. I did an open mic there once. Way I was I was in Chicago to see a whole bunch of shows. I went I went for like four days to see a bunch of shows. I got to go see Mark Ellis tape his special. Uh, I got to see the Top Ten podcast do a live show. Uh, I went to a couple of the shows, and I, while I was there, I also did an open mic, and, and man, is it a different animal, but I'd like to go back and do it again, because when I did it, you know, in 2017, 2018, whatever year that was, um, it was an absolute, it was, it was fun, but I wasn't prepared, it was something I hadn't planned on doing while I was there, I was just at a bar that happened to have a mic that night, and I was like, oh shit, well, while well, I'm here, uh, <laughs> and so I wasn't. And, I, and, and the material I was doing back then was ass. I mean, I, oof, it was bad. Um, a lot of hack shit. But, uh, because I was still at the time uh, only going up like three, four times a year. So I wasn't really doing a lot of, I was doing kind of the same shit over and over again. So, yeah. Um, I want to go back to Chicago and perform in Chicago. Uh, like, legitimately perform in Chicago. Um, but yeah, those are the three things I want to do this year. I want to, I want to, I want to have a solid forty-five minutes, like that I'm comfortable taking on stage. I've got thirty right now, and and writing a new, writing fifteen minutes in a year that I'm comfortable taking on stage regularly is is tough. A any comic will tell you like that is tough. I saw a TikTok the other day about uh, Marvel's Mrs. Maisel, and and I, and I cannot remember for the life of me what. The, what the podcast was uh, that the clip was from that I wish I had saved it but uh, 
they said like what what profession what like what part of entertainment do you think movies and TV get wrong the most uh, and and they said comedy she was said because as much and I love Marvel's Mrs. Maisel I want to be clear but something she said that I had never thought about that made a lot of sense was the most unbelievable thing about Marvel's Mrs. Maisel is that uh, she was doing a new five minutes like every show and it's like yeah that's that is and I understand that's supposed to be kind of the point of the show is that she's this like wild uh, savant of comedy and I love the show but it is kind of like it's like that's not what comedy is like no one's doing an, anybody doing a new five minutes every mic is is ripping someone off or they've got somebody else writing their shit or it's not good <laughs> um, so uh, I know to come up with a new 15 minutes by the end of the year is is a, a long shot, but I think I just need to spend more time. I think sometimes I get a little too complacent and a little too comfortable with my material to where I'm like, well, I got this stuff. I don't, I don't need to. And it's like, I should be, though. Um, so I want to spend more time really writing. Uh, Nolan Creeker, who's a comic here in town that I'm very good friends with, uh, does a, a writing, has a monthly open mic, uh, and usually does a writing session beforehand, so I'm trying to make it out for that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to close a mic out of town. I really would. I, I've done I've done the mic down at the caravan several times, and I love going there. I haven't been to Commonwealth Sanctuary yet. I was supposed to go last year and I was uh, I got really sick uh, like the day before so I ended up not being able to go um, and then uh, I just haven't maybe able to go back down uh, plan of the tapes I did last year with Vander he and I did like a week on the road um, and we did plan of the tapes and it was a lot of fun so yeah I loved I'd love to close out a mic in another town and I think I just I don't know I usually only do Wiley's on my anniversary weekend, I think this year I'm going to try to do uh, Wiley's a couple, at least one or two other times. I always, I don't want to overstay it, but I think uh, I think I could. Try, I think I want to do it again. And, and for the three mics, one thing we definitely want to do is we want to do a three mics live show at Wiley's. Um, we've already pretty much been told uh, from the club owner that we just have to ask, and she'll 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 make it happen for us I think we're just not ready yet not that like we're not ready to put on a show but I don't I, you know and we've had our, our show our podcast has done really well on like the good pods app you know we, we, we talk about that all the time but you know I just I don't think the audience is there yet for us to, to, to do that and feel good about it like yeah we could do it but I can't guarantee we'd sell tickets so we're we're hoping that like through the um through like the world record show that we're doing in February, um, and and once I get back into going up regularly again, I think we're gonna really uh, make a hard push this year. But we want to do that. Uh, we would love to do like a live, like a live episode taping at like you know the Barrel House or something. Um, again, that's one of those. It's like I think we could we could do it. like we have the means to do it. I don't know if we'd have the poll yet. So. We'll see. We might do something with Fuse Fest um, this year when that comes back. We also, what else did I say I wanted us to do? Um, oh yeah, we just, we'd like to do a, a, a three mic show out of town. We'd like to do a three mics live show out of town somewhere. Again, like you know, that's up. To, that's kind of up there with the Wiley's thing of like, if we think we can get the pull, great. But I think for the time being, we're going to keep doing like the small bar shows. Um, you know, uh, Brickies has become. Is this will now be the second time we've done the show at Brickies, uh, almost a year apart, like it's like like a month and a half off from being a year apart. So, I'd like to make Brickies kind of a, a like the first home for the three mics, uh, and uh, and we try to we try to do a three mic sh live show like once every three months. We think is uh, right now is is kind of good for where we're at. You know, the first one we did at Brickies was stellar. Uh, the one we did at Carmichael's was great. We did, um, and then we did the show there uh, at uh, Nowhere in particular uh, right at the end of the year. It was one of the last shows I did, uh, I did, I think, last year. Um, so, 
yeah, just we got stuff we want to do, and I think just we had plans and momentum that we were planning that we were wanting to carry in 2024, and then me, my life falling apart through a lot of those into onto the back burner because you know like the podcast stuff's all mine. And we're gonna get it. I guess we're gonna get that up running here again soon once I get my desk moved over and, and my equipment unpacked and set back up. But uh, yeah, doing comedy live, it felt good to be back at the club. I, I laughed. It, it, was, it was really a shame too. Was the comics were having a great time tonight because we recognized the quality of material that was up on that stage. The audience just wasn't into it. But I laughed a lot tonight, more than I have in a while because I haven't had a whole hell of a lot to laugh about. Um, and so it was nice to be able to get out and laugh and, and, and see some people and, 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 and feel some love and, uh, um, to just get reminded that, uh, by a lot of people that, you know, I, I had a lot of people tell me tonight that they were glad to see me back and that felt good. That felt really good. Uh, even people who I'm not friends with told me that it was good. They were glad to see me back. So here's, here's to me being back, I guess, um, in a limited capacity, uh, all just depending on how I'm feeling, but for all intents and purposes, I'm back doing comedy again, so uh, maybe I'll hit a couple more mics this week, we'll see how I'm feeling, but we'll see how it goes.